Welcome to the Windows 8 channel and today we're going to um, do another, another video on the back to the basics on checking out the performance of your computer in the task manager. Um, one of the things that is always interesting to see when we use our computer and especially when we have lots of software and we have lots of things that we do is understand um, you know the impact and the performance level or, of our computer and there's a great tool called the task manager that has the performance monitor where you'll see um, you know different aspects of performance of your computer uh, in a graphical and also on a uh, text uh, interface so all you have to do is either uh, go into the charms bar and type task manager in the search you can also do it on the start screen by going into the search on the upper right, type, typing task manager, clicking on it. And of course, one of the easiest way is to simply right click on the start button at the bottom left and go into task manager. Once you are there, click the performance tab. And here you have a certain number of things that are going to show up. First of all, it gives you the performance of CPU wise. And it gives you details. First of all, the first one is CPU. Uh, you have this little, um, you know, number the numbers basically that tell you what type of usage you're doing. For example, while I'm recording right now and playing with the mouse, uh, it's about 10% of usage, which is very low basically. You have the speed of your processor, and you have uh, different things like processes, threads, and handles. These are more technical things. And you have a number here, which is the uptime, the time that your computer's been running since last restart. So for example, here it says that my uptime is an hour and a half. You have a graphic here where it shows you the performance level. Now, to give you an idea how the performance level is affected by different processes, let's, uh, for example, open a, a Google Chrome window, and I'm gonna minimize it and you see that there are spikes and let's uh, for example go here and I'll click a YouTube video and just put it here and immediately the YouTube video that I'm playing is actually showing uh, that it's taking more out of your CPU now it's up to 21 percent so the more software is running in the background the more things you do the more the computer is, of course, uh, using CPU power. And it's nice because using that in processes where you have each process in the computer by um, its usage is a great way to know what software, what is actually taking so much power in my computer. The second thing that you uh, might check in this uh, performance tab is memory. Now memory, this is probably one of the under evaluated hardware in a computer. I don't know how many clients I have that had a slow computer and didn't understand that by adding RAM memory, you'd improve things, but to a certain point. For example, here my computer has eight gigabytes it says that 21% of it is used, which is very low usage. So I don't need more memory, that's for sure. But when in this usage, you actually go and, you know, move up to 70 or 80% of usage of memory, I'd say above 70%, it means that you might actually need more memory because you are running on the limits of the RAM. And what happens with RAM, is that if the computer doesn't have enough RAM memory to run, then it will use a hard drive. And if it uses a hard drive, the hard drive is a lot slower than RAM memory. So it slows down the general usage of your computer. That's why computers sometimes run really slow. So this is another little graphic. And if you're a multitask intensive user running many, many multiple programs together, uh, take a look at the memory. Make sure that you have enough running. Um, one thing about memory, there's also something called having too much memory. Uh, in many, many tests, 
You know, people, some people are just like, oh, I'm going to load the machine with 32 gigs of RAM. Uh, well, a lot of tests show that when you have too much, it actually slows down the computer also because the computer has to manage all of that RAM. So unless you're a very, very big power user, um, you know, go, just, just use uh, the amount necessary. Uh, I'd say in most computers, 4 gigs enough, and if you have got 8 like I have now, you probably will never need more than that f uh, for Windows. Then you have disk usage. This is another graphic that's interesting because it tells you, uh, you know, what your hard drive is doing and the performance of your hard drive, how much of it is being used by different processes. Here, for example, the, the what you see is probably the recording of the video on the hard drive as I am uh, actually making it. So it shows you that it has speed and it has interesting, you know, details, the average response time, the uh, percentage of activity time, read and write speeds and so on and the capacity of your hard drive. This is a 640 gigabyte hard drive formatted. It is at 571. You have also Ethernet. If you have a cable plugged into your computer, Ethernet will show you the um, performance of your Ethernet network. If something is using data, if you're wondering if your uh, network is being used intensively, well, by taking Ethernet, if you have a cable plugged in, then you will see that. In my case, I don't have a cable, but I have Wi-Fi. So I can click Wi-Fi and see the in and outs of the Wi-Fi adapter. For example, here it says that nothing much is being used right now. But let's do another thing. Let's go back here to my uh, Safari. Let's go back to YouTube. Let's click uh, another video again and look at how suddenly Wi-Fi is being used more because it's sending and receiving data for the video that I'm watching. So that's also something interesting because you can actually see the amount of data being used on your network uh, pretty much in real time thanks to this graphic and the numbers at the bottom of it. So it's uh, you know a very very nice little spot here to check performance wise of your computer and you know once you see that try to figure out okay what is causing too much CPU usage or disk usage or maybe Wi-Fi um, you know knowing if you have enough memory RAM memory installed and so on uh, this is a great great tool to uh, see what's happening with your computer so this is the performance tab in the task manager if you have any comments or questions, let us know. Maybe you um, like our videos. Why not subscribe? You'll be informed when new videos are online. And um, if you have that new Windows 8 computer, you're a little lost. We have lots of videos showing you how to actually work through Windows 8.1. And uh, we are in the middle of a Back to the Basics where we show all sorts of little details of Windows and how to use Windows 8.1 to the maximum. And uh, hope that you enjoy our videos and that we'll come back to the Windows 8 channel. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.